Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be going over the topic of the best video editing software and the best screen recording software for your Chromebook and some tips that I'm going to give you. These are all my personal favorites and ones I have used before and ones I'm currently still using. So I hope you enjoy. Before we start today's video, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications so you can get notified whenever I upload banger videos just like this one. Anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's just get straight into the video. Quick announcement. Thank you to all these people for being members on my channel. Okay, back to the video. Alrighty guys, so before we start this video, please go to this website, which is linked in the description below as always. So today I'm going to be showing you the best screen recording software and video editing software for your Chromebook. And you're probably just thinking, well, he could have just looked this up on Google or something and just pick the top results. Well, I've actually used both of these and I'm currently still using one of them so I know all the tips and tricks for them. I know how to use them. I know some tips. I can Just like I said, I can give you some tips on how to professionally use them, the best settings for them, all that kind of stuff. So the first one is my screen recorder that the one I'm actually currently using right now. It's on the Chrome Web Store. It will be linked in the description below. It is Loom. I love Loom so much. They are my favorite recording software for Chromebooks. I love them so much. Sponsor me, please. Um, just, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, so they're really good for screen recording on Chromebooks. You just go to the Chrome Web Store, add it to Chrome, and then there'll be this little icon up here in the corner right here. It's flashing red for me because I'm currently recording with it. It's got 4 million plus users, a ton of great stuff really. Um, all you have to do is just click on it and then you choose screen with camera or just screen and then you click recording. You select your microphone and click record. It's easy as that. It is 1080p quality or if you want to go lower, you can go lower or you can go higher. You can go higher with your premium version or their free version. You can go up to 1080p, 720p. It's, it's really amazing. Like I just said, linked in the description below. Go check it out. It is by far my favorite screen recorder. I have tons of extensions on my Chromebook, and you do not know how many screen recorders I've gone through to find this one. I've gone through Hippo. I've gone through Screencastify. I've gone through a couple others. I forgot their name. Some of them are okay. Some of them delay the voice of your mic like it's not in sync which is really annoying so that requires extra editing to fix then some of them recorded a really low quality none of them have the settings and the certain customization stuff that i want so i i spent forever looking for loom it's a great thing please check it out please use it records at a high quality easy to use it's so great and you're what's a what's a great video recording software without a great editing software so so my favorite editing software is actually PowerDirector. Go ahead and open your Google Play Store on your computer. Go to the search bar, type PowerDirector, then hit enter. Click on the first option. And then go ahead and click install on this right here. It is the best video editing software for Chromebooks. There is no better one for beginners and advanced people. It has stuff for beginners, intermediate, advanced, everybody. It is so great. This is what I started off with on Chromebook, and this is what I ended with on Chromebook. I'm currently editing with Premiere, but this was a great starting point for me. It let me edit my videos 1080p and higher quality. It is amazing. And I'm actually going to show you guys like how to use it and some basic features and stuff like that. So let's just get straight into it. Alrighty, guys. Wow. I have all my old videos in here. Dino Unblock, Photoshop, and Browse. Friday Night Funkin', all these old videos. So yeah, guys, once you have it downloaded and you're in here, you just want to basically click New Project. We're going to call this Video, I don't know, Test. Now we're going to click 16.9. That's the YouTube dimensions. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And let's see, I'm going to use this Apex gameplay for free. I'm going to add that into there. And then let's see, we're going to have Fall Guys gameplay free. You can put that in there too. And then we're going to go back out of here to view everything. And basically what you can do is you can scroll through here. I'm going to 
scroll right here out of this and then i'm going to add a transition right there i'm going to click on this add that evaporate effect on there let's see what that looks like and see if that looks any good looks pretty good to me and you can also cut clips do voiceovers like you can see right here you can do voiceovers add images so this is how you used to edit all my videos you can add videos titles images stickers they have free stickers and stuff so I'm going to add a little bit of text right here. I'm going to add the text and we're going to call it, click on that and you just type what you want. I'm going to call it, just put Erwin Tech in there, my channel name. I'm going to go in here actually again. I'm going to hit the little thing right there to change the color to red. Uh, the font type, I don't usually like this font, so I always change it up to something cool looking. We're actually going to change that back to white. You can add a color, a black stroke. We can change the size of it. You can add a shadow like that. And then once you're ready, you just drag and drop and you can like put this in the bottom right hand corner of your videos for a watermark or something and shrink it down a bit a bit smaller and these are just the basics of how to edit in power director just some simple stuff like audio images text transitions and stuff like that there's way more for you guys to explore go check it all out the video recorder is linked in the description power director download on the google play store is linked in the description so yeah guys these are my two favorite video editing and video recording softwares on your chromebook my personal favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed and yeah and Enjoy both of these as video and recording editors. Thank you all for watching. Here are all the shout outs for today's video. And if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below. I subscribed and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>